is this the first visit to CETA for you? Definitely, it's the first visit uh, to CETA. Um, yeah, the first time I'm here in Bangkok yeah, for the show. And as it's the first day of the show, what, what's your take on CETA 2018? How have you found the show so far? I think uh, it's a very good show. It's a show with a very good potential. Um, I think uh, there's much room for uh, further suppliers of uh, energy uh, generation or uh, wind energy, solar energy. So um, it's a good B2B show and a good show with a um, high caliber conference program um, supported by the government, strong support by the government, which is a very good sign for the business people. So I invite many business people to come to CETA to talk to the exhibitors and to, to listen what they have to offer in order to improve their business, to reduce their consumption of energy, to reduce uh, the emissions and to introduce um, efficient forms of new energy. Um, and with renewable energy, obviously it's uh, seen as the future in Europe and there's a lot of technological developments. Where is Asia in relation to Europe? Are we behind or are we leading the way? I think the resources are there, especially when it comes to solar energy. It's uh, because there's a lot of solar energy, yes. maybe also biofuels, um, because uh, there's a lot of uh, material available in Asian countries. So um, European companies, they, they have the technology to um, convert, for example, uh, organic material to bioenergy as well. So I would, I would recommend also European companies to come to Asia to see what the potential is is here in the market mm -hmm. and to talk to for example Thai companies yes. to create joint ventures to create business and so I think it's a very very good opportunity for for international companies to come to Thailand. Thank you so much for talking with us today and I wish you a successful two days ahead with CETA 2018. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.